Okay, so we um, had talked about Radix DLT, and we're kind of waiting for them to get their developer stuff ready. But I want I I've noticed that there's a lot of interest in staking and and things of that nature. Uh, there was a lot of interest in the edge node and um actually one of my one of the viewers is quite disappointed in the payoff on said node um which I thought was interesting but um the of course with radix d l t they talk a lot about staking now it's interesting I said well okay how how to the first thing you gotta do in order to stake x r d is get x r d um and it's not the easiest thing in the world so if you have um let me go to that and first talk about that let's see if i can pick up the right one um because i have a bunch of windows open here uh so Let's see. Okay. Now, one of the things is it you have two choices. You can go to Bitfinex. I think they mentioned that as um so uh this is InstaBridge. But the first step step before you can use InstaBridge is yeah, Bitfinex is a place you can buy X the native XRD token. Okay, so let's see what that looks like. I am sure I don't know if it's something that we can get that one can get to in the U.S. But uh, here we go. Let's see. Um. So this does a lot of, uh, and I've not tried to sign up for it yet, um, but they do have XRD, uh, let's see, uh, let's see if we can do a little search here, uh, let's see, of course they're not. Let's do, see this little search thing here. XRD. So you can. Oh, okay. They do. They just have EXRD. Um. Let's see. But you can. I'm pretty sure if you can do it this way, you can do. Reverse it, and get the XRD. So. I'm wondering if they talk about it. Let's see what we got going on here. So EXRD to USD. So um can you buy let's see if you can swap that. Um How about buy EXRD? Limit price you, yeah. So this is where you can buy EXRD. There are, now, EXRD, they talk about quite a few exchanges that you can use. Let me go to that page. And then we'll talk about, so here are the places you can buy EXRD. And... Um, once you buy XRD on one of these exchanges, then you have to get it to XRD, where InstaBridge comes in. InstaBridge is a service that allows to move, allows you to move between EXRD and XRD. So basically, what this lets you do, you have to first go through a KYC verification, and if you're in the U.S., especially, you know all about that because Heaven forfend we should buy buy something on crypto exchange and uh, they can't find out who did it. Um, but you verify you do your KYC, 
you then verify your Radix and Ethereum wallets and you send EXRD to get XRD in the Radix wallet. So that is a bridge between Ethereum and XRD. So EXRD is essentially XRD wrapped in, in Ethereum. <laughs> and so the Ethereum wallet knows about it. And then when the Radix wallet gets it, it knows it's Radix. So that's how you convert the EXRD that you'll buy on one of the exchanges into XRD. Um, so we can even look at the InstaBridge user guide. Uh, the Inst okay, so they have a whole guide on the Radix website about doing this. Um, and fees, let's see. You need some Ethereum to, to cover the gas. So you you need some regular Ethereum. Um, and they go through all the instructions here. And so now you have XRD in your Radix wallet. You've set up an account on one of the exchanges that, that they permit uh, that that has it, um, which we saw Bitfinex was one of them. Uh, let's see, I think I have to go back the screen here. What is it? No, that is. Well, we've seen Bitfinex as one of them. Here we go. Bitfinex, KuCoin, Uniswap, Gate.io. Ascendix, Mexi Global, Zerion, and who? These um, eight exchanges will let you buy EXRD. And uh, let's see, is that, yeah. And you can see this is what it looks like on Bitfinex. It, uh, it is EXRD to USD. So. EXRD got up to about 20, close to 17. Now it's down to about 13 cents. Now, of course, if Radix DLC um, becomes a big thing, you possibly can make money on this. And that's something you're going to have to decide, decide how much you want to risk. This is, this is, this is a altcoin. All coins are risky. So don't do this with money um, unless it's money that you're not concerned about, okay? Um, it's, you know, it's, it, and you just don't want to, you need to judge your risk. Obviously, if you're 20 years old, you could take a little bit more risk than someone who's 60 years old, who is trying to preserve what they've earned they're working for 40 years so that they can retire. But if you're young, taking a little bit of risk is okay. But again, be aware of that. You know, um, and you also have to think, are you are you trading or hodling? I'm more of a hodler. Um, I, I'm familiar with trading. I've looked at enough stock charts in my life, so I kind of can get some ideas of what I think. I've done some training where they trained on different uh, things to look at the charts, but at this point, I I don't. I generally don't trade. But um, at any rate, uh, public service announcement over. <laughs> um, back to this. So now you got your XRD sitting in your Radix wallet. Now what? Now you got to get it, you have to stake. So a special type of transaction and, and uh, I don't have the Radix wallet up on here, but they go through instructions on how to stake it. And they do recommend looking at the Radix Explorer. Let's see if I still have that up or I have to bring it back up. I had it up earlier. Uh, there we go. 
This is your Radix Explorer. And they give you some information. If you click Validate, it's right here. You get the list of validators. And we've looked at this before. But this is kind of interesting. They put a little line. The above validators already have a high amount of stake. It's strongly recommended to stake to validators below this line. So you can look at things like the owner's stake, the fee that they charge, what's their uptime look like. Um, you know, say have uh, accepts delegated stake to indicates anyone may delegate stake to the validator and not accepting. So there's only maybe uh, four, five, six, seven, eight, about a dozen validators right now. Which, well, oh, sorry, I didn't sort on that. So we could sort on this, I think. No, it's not letting us. But you can see, judging by the uptime and and uh, the fees and things of that nature, what looks good. You can also see how much the owner staked um, and so on. So you pick out a validator and what they recommended actually is that you split your 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 money up between five validators so you know let's say if it's what 13 15 dollars the minimum so you can take 100 bucks put 20 bucks on five different validators that have a good uptime and a low fee and um, yeah, it says percentage from the toilet, otherwise the valid. Okay, so you you pick the validators you want, you split it up. So in case one goes funny, you have other, you know, you're covered, and there you go, you're staked. So let's to go over again. Step one, you need to course have your radix wallet download it set it up you have to have an ethereum wallet set that up with a little bit of a buy a little bit of ethereum three you got to acquire some exrd and we saw one place you can get it which is bitfinex uh and there were about eight of them that they listed now then you have to set up your your uh what is it insta insta pass or what do they call it um well the insta pa the insta pass and the insta bridge get that all set up and that's basically a kyc type of thing now you got an account for that you set that up uh let's let's just look at this before we um so why do i need we will quite so this is this is why you have to have kyc for legal reasons um instabridge the two-way bridge before you can eat you'll need to create an instapass account you lo log into Insta and manage Ethereum wallet you want it says the default if you wish to use a different let's see if we must, if we can get this to uh get it to open big. So here's this. You go through your KYC, you give your addresses to your wallets, um and once so you can do trend, let's see. So transfer your EXRD into the amount you want to convert and click transfer. So let's have a look at this. Let's go see what we got here. Start a transfer. And that's all you do. Again, it'll take a little, I have to, if I want to do this, I'm going to have to take some time and set these things up but I want to at least give you an introduction um, and then you have it and then you pick your um, your favorite 
five validator nodes that look good to you. And uh, you use your, your uh, Radix wallet to stake. And you will in increase your money. Um, but again, the tokens themselves are all coins. All coins equal volatile risk. So in that regard, be careful. Um, but you can stake. And there... This is one example. Now, a lot of the bigger brokers um, will allow you to stake some of the more established coins. I know you can, I think it's on either Coinbase Pro or uh, Binance, you you can stake things like DOT and things of that, you know, some of, some of the uh, bigger ones. So anyway, I hope this has been helpful. Um, if because I know there's a great interest in Radix, there's a great interest in staking. That's why I wanted to do this video. And um, if you found this helpful, please give a like, please share it with your friends, please uh, subscribe to see future videos. Um, please ring ring the bell to, and ring the bell to get future video to know when they uh, get notified of them. And again, share it with your friends, and uh, I will speak to you next time.